Hello whale traders. Today I am showing you my own trading setup that I used a lot here. You can see a rough estimate for this strategy. This video is lengthy but full of valuable information so don't skip any part as you can get losing trades by long wrong application. So now information about this strategy is lengthy but uh, let's not waste any second and jump straight into it. You can this, uh, use this strategy for any forex or cryptocurrency and you can use any time frame. I'm using one hour time frame. So now uh, our first indicator for this strategy is SSL channel. SSL channel by Erwin Becker. This one. You will click this one and OK. So whale readers our second indicator is MACD. Now you can search for MACD here. Uh, here is MACD. Click on this and now after this close this one and now we will go to uh, settings. We will do some settings for MACD. So uh, let's click this setting and now you will uh, change the color of this uh, MACD line and you will uh, change the op opticity so uh, do this slider to zero take this slider to zero of and same do this for this one and take this slider opticity to zero percent and that's it okay so now you can see there is only a histogram remaining so we need only MACD histogram so uh, now you can uh, um, change the colors but I think the histogram colors are okay so that's it I think this is okay so you can uh, uh, you can see uh, now um, I want to increase this uh, this one to make it visible or big so I think it's okay now for SSL channel we will use a uh, style and you will go to you can increase uh, its opticity and its uh, thickness I I prefer to do it because it looks more uh, visible on the chart so uh, although it's optional for you you can do it or you can leave it so uh, it's okay now let me get okay so now guys uh, so guys let me give you some brief uh, of uh, MACD histogram now this is very important guys MACD uh, makes different shapes you need to be fully aware of these shapes in order to avoid any uh, wrong expectation now look at this big bump it is almost uh, let me measure it uh, let's see it's almost guys whooping 29% now in order to capitalize such big movement you need to see previous histograms of uh, this one let me zoom it and now uh, let me highlight this one and uh, let you can uh, here you can see this uh, red one you can see af after this uh, this has a lot of uh, red bars so you can see so it depends on before the pump it depends how much you have the potential uh, uh, accumulation before that so now let me show you another example here you can see there is almost uh, 19 19 to 20 percent gain a pump so for this one you can also see uh, let me again highlight this one for you uh, here you can see there are a lot of um, green bars on the hist uh, red bars on the histogram also here yeah, almost here after our pump so now you can see another uh, for short rates you can see uh, we have a big bars of uh, previous green ones you can see in the middle there was a small uh, red bars consolidation bars and there are mostly green bars uh, so so that is a uh, here this one and the previous one so now let's see our buying setup now uh, in order for a long trigger this uh, guys this this you can see here a uh, cross over you can see the green has crossed the red and it's uh, over the red 
and you can also see the volume on the histogram so here we can enter our long trade and uh, you can see we can make a stop loss of 1.5 percent for this trade so you can uh, place uh, this and you can see how much we got from this trade almost almost 29 percent so now uh, let's see for our buying uh, trade uh, for our now let's see for our short trade uh, you can see this one was not a perfect trade for us this is a uh, wrong setup because you can see the there is no uh, previous uh, long uh, histogram uh, of red one before this setup and also it is exhausted so you can use this one to get smaller trades or small profits after first two bars of uh, increasing um, volume on histogram of macd so that's important to get small profits now let's see our sell conditions is similar our green line of ss channel should be below the red one here you can see the and i will highlight for you here you can see green is below the red one now uh, step two is there must be increasing two or three bars on histogram you uh, let me highlight this uh, for you uh, let me uh, where is brush so here is brush so let me highlight here you can see the increasing green uh, red candles you can see increasing uh, volume of red candles and here is the crossover so that uh, has um, all our conditions met so we can place a short trade from here and you can place your uh, stop loss at the above uh, at the red line of the SS channel or you can place it 1.5% um, uh, so now guys pay attention in this channel I test randomly strategies although it's my personal strategy but I will also show you a taste of lies in our use now let's see here you can see green is above red and there is increasing green bars on histo so uh, our conditions are almost uh, matting on this one so let me place an order at here so here we have placed our order so our stop loss is uh, the below previous swing and i am expecting a good pump towards upward let's see so go up go up go up so here it uh, had uh, we had a winning trade you can see how much profit we got from this trade so let's get ahead of um, and find another trade let's see we can get a good short trade from here our conditions are almost matting here uh you can check histogram there are two red bars there is crossover of green below the red one and you can see uh, in increasing um, histogram um, bars on in red and you can see there are uh, a lot of green previous ones so we can expect a good short trade from here uh, let me place the stop loss below the previous almost or uh, previous swing or you can also place it at 1.5 percent but for as we are expecting a big gain from this strategy then our stop loss should also be a relatively bigger one voila wow another 22.5 percent i bet you must be highly excited and you should be
now guys in this channel i don't hide anything from you guys so let's check another trade this trade will be of value very valuable information for you guys so don't miss this one so here you can see we have a, we had a crossover but we had no green bars on the histo uh, so this is not uh, what we are looking for so as you can see i will demonstrate you uh, uh, anyways uh, so you will see here we got uh, in green bar here on histogram let me um, step ahead the uh, one bar again and you can see another green bar increasing volume so it's satisfying our condition but although these are not perfect scenario i will not recommend it but let me place and uh, demonstrate you so you will see this one will be getting into a wrong one because i know this one i so so uh time for our trading segment as i do in most of my of my videos so to give you real value so i manually collect uh, collected and uh, data of these all uh, of, of these trades there are some uh, wrong trades also and you, i collected all them all of them in uh, excel and you can see i took all the big ones there are not a uh, smaller ones so i am for more than three percent in every trade so you can see all the wins and losses now as i always do my experience tips for you guys in this is use bollinger bands to uh, and don't trade in these type of ranging markets and uh, that's it that is the tip for you and please if you get uh, help, help from this strategy if you get benefit from my strategy don't forget to support me don't forget to support my channel share my videos and make my channel number one trading channel on youtube you can give me feedback on my email and i will love to read your uh, feedback and support my channel make it number one trading channel on youtube Thanks for watching.